folks and welcome back to Yorkshire Railway and welcome back to another model railway review. Today is quite a special day because I have got in front of me another box and this box comes to me from Kurnow Model Rail Centre. Um, I saw a Facebook post um, in a model railway group uh, basically saying they had some um, crazy deals on a hush hush. Um, so I went to go and check because I did think I was like I really wanted one of those sets. Um, but having a browse on their website, as I've never heard of them before, I saw this set, which I have been wanting for a very, very, very long time, just couldn't justify spending the full RRP for it. Um, however, the discount that uh, Kurnow Model Railway Centre has uh, was too good to uh, miss. So um, this has literally just been delivered. Um, I'm very excited to get into it. Um, it is insanely packaged and you'll have to bear with me because I'm trying to reach around the camera and uh, unbox this so uh, bear with me two seconds. But uh, yeah it's it's very well packaged, um, came in a very big heavy box um, so that is hopefully uh, a good sign as well um, and th there is a hell of a lot of tape on there. Um, but all I'll say about Kernel Model Railway Centres is um, their staff are absolutely amazing. Um, you know, they rang me up, um, made sure that uh, delivery address was correct and everything, very friendly on the website. And uh, yeah, as you can see, beautifully packaged, this foam bubble wrap and all sorts. You might have got a glimpse of what um, I have inside this little bit of bubble wrap, but here we go. It is the LNER. Azuma Class 800 Celebrating Scotland 5 Car Train Pack, a set that I have absolutely been dying for um, for a very, very long time. Um, I, I think the Azumas are an absolutely great looking locomotive. Um, I love the livery and I actually went on um, one earlier this year in February when I went to Scotland with my girlfriend. And yeah, I thought, you know what, uh, I really, really need one of these sets. However, the full RRP is £435, something around that kind of mark on Hornby's website. Um, and if you're wanting to get one of these sets for yourself, the R number is R3827, LNER Azuma Class 800 Celebrating Scotland 5 Car Train Pack. Um, so I'll just open the box and we'll take a first look at the uh, locomotives. But uh, but yes, I've been dying to get one of these sets, and um, from Kurnow they have them RRP, uh, well listed um, RRP at uh, £299.99, uh, uh, um, which is an insane uh, discount. It's 30% uh, off, um, so I just thought, you know what, I'm not going to find a better price than that. Uh, for the set that I always wanted, so I did part with a hell of a lot of money, but I'm hopefully it's going to be worth it. I'm, I'm hoping Hornby doesn't disappoint. So here is the booklet, as you can see, um, fairly straightforward, just uh, fitting and lubrication and uh, maintenance and fitting the DC decoder. Um, also shows how the couplings work, which is interesting. Uh, DC light controls. Um, so that's a, a positive sign, hopefully, that the analog lighting works just as well. Um, lubrication points and the fit DC decoder, um, which is actually quite easy to fit, not that I run DC uh, C, uh, but uh, yeah, the speaker and everything goes right at the bottom of the loco, so you haven't got to fiddle around taking the body off. It's literally just underneath the loco and the dummy car, so you do need two decoders. Um, to, here we go. So yeah, packaged in the polystyrene packaging, so um, it's definitely going to be uh, safe, and I imagine that means there isn't too much in terms of flimsy um, separately fitted parts, which might be a little bit of a shame um, to warrant popping it in the block of ice, but as with Hornby, the little holes on the back, you basically just push your finger through and you can easily grab the loco out. So here is the dummy car, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll have a look at the dummy car now, and it is 
absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, the 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 paintwork, the livery, it, it's amazing. I mean, look at all that separately fitted pantographs on the top. Um, quite a flimsy little plastic pantograph. I'm probably not going to, you know, run mine with it extended just for fear of breaking it. But um, you have that option available should you wish to use it. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've got separate uh, stickers for disabled. We've got the um, name boards. Uh, so this is obviously coach A. It tells you where it's running to, the running number of the coach. You got electrical uh, stickers on there. Um, interesting enough, the corridor um, on the back as well. I mean, look at all that separately fitted and um, painted parts there. But the uh, the corridor is actually rubber. Um, I noticed that when I grabbed hold of it uh, to start with, and an interesting uh, coupling design. Um, I've not seen one like this before, uh, so interested to see how that will work on my layout. Back to the front, as you can see, there's the. Uh, Running number there, 800-104, L and ER, and then we've got a windscreen wiper, the Azuma on the front. And I can see the lights there, there's the uh, the headlamp and the two uh, lights on the side as well. Um, yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that, we've got like, the silver roof. Um, yeah, such a stunning loco. Um, and let's have a look at the driving car, which is the Celebrating Scotland locomotive and wow um the, the right so first thing to note of the loco compared to the dummy car it is heavy uh, very very heavy um compared to uh yeah the the, uh, the dummy car but um wow i mean look, look there we've got a little uh, scottish flag on the front we've got the tartan celebrating scotland um design integrated into the lner which I think just looks fantastic. I think uh, the reason I chose this over the standard LNER, I just wanted that little bit of difference, and because I'd already been to Edinburgh on LNER, I thought, oh, you know what, well, that, that sort of you know gives a bit of connection to me personally. And look, at there's like a, a separately fitted fan um, in the roof as well. As you see, there's the headlamps. Um, yeah, it's it's great. This um, really really heavy loco. Again, look, we've got uh, the same as before, we've got the disabled signs and um, door panels and everything like that, uh, the rubber uh, corridors. Yeah, yeah, absolutely uh, is amazing, uh, this loco. I'm really impressed so far, and I haven't even run it in. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll put the uh, the power car and the dummy car here, and we'll take a look at one of the coaches uh, that uh, this comes in the pack. Um, in the pack, you get three coaches. So I'll just slot one out because other than the uh, name boards and uh, the coach lettering, they are pretty much um, all the same coaching. So, um, so yeah, here's, here's the coach for uh, the Azumas, uh, specifically Coach L. Um, they are bringing out a pack, or possibly might be out now, um, but I believe it is uh, on due to come at the minute. Um, but uh, But, yeah... Uh, the you can basically buy another additional coaches to make the whole nine car set. Um, so at the moment it only comes with three, um, but obviously it's a five car set with the dummy car and the uh, locomotive itself. Um, so you'll get another four coaches in that pack, uh, so you can have a full rake uh, running along uh, your railway. So the roof's a little bit different to the locomotive, but still nice to see lots of separately fitted parts in there, and. Uh, yeah, the coach is no notable weight to them. That they're not uh, as heavy as the locomotive, but definitely say on par with the power car, um, which is a decent weight as well. Nice sort of like tinting in the glazing. I forgot to mention that on the uh, locos as well. Um, nice little bit of tinting, um, which gives that sort of realistic uh, touch. An interesting thing to note, uh, just because I put it down, um, I don't know if you can quite see them, but the coaches have pickups. Um, so that uh, that's going to be interesting. Um, I think that possibly means that there is the inclusion of some LEDs inside the coaches, which 
definitely sort of uh, screams a bit of quality. Here are the LEDs now. So this is in uh, the dummy car, yeah, just so I can uh, show both. So this is the rear-facing lights. Um, this is on analog as well, so it's not DCC functions. Uh, and then we'll switch it to the forward position. And then we can see we've got the uh, front lights. Um, yeah, it's a shame the uh, light on the top doesn't come on with analog, but hey-ho, um, you know, uh, at least we get sort of uh, rear-facing LEDs as well as uh, front-facing LEDs. So that's, that's something at least um, for all you analog users. And, uh, you know, you've got to be thankful for that. But, um, yeah, strangely, I moved the loco um, just now and the top board came on and the cab interior. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that is a hell of a lot of LEDs um, to have in a set. And this is all on analog as well, um, which is amazing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely speechless. Um, and here is uh, one of the coaches. So you can see we have that coach LED lighting in there. That's sort of more yellowy hue, uh, which is quite nice. Um, very realistic um, and definitely is going to look amazing running on the layout, uh, whether it be at uh, night time or during the day, you'll still get that sort of like glow coming out as well, which I think is quite nice. But definitely um, when it gets into the evening, it might be quite nice to uh, turn the lights off or if you're in the loft, for instance, turn the lights off and uh, see your locomotive running um, fully illuminated. So yeah, absolutely amazing. Okay, so we've got the locomotive power car down onto the uh, track and we're gonna give it a bit of juice and give it its first test. This hasn't been running, um, so certainly it'll not be giving a true reflection, but certainly shows how the locomotive can perform straight from the box. And also, a regular viewers already know, but I am using a Hornby Select controller uh, from a train sets, so it's not the best. Um, I'm just not ready to invest in a proper good controller, uh, just because I've got a temporary layout rather than a permanent one at the moment. So when that comes, I will be investing in a better controller. But to say that this controller is terrible, this is absolutely incredible work. Look at that crawl. And it, just to, um, you know, emphasize this again, this has not been running. This is straight from the box, but look how slow that is creeping. Um, like, I mean, I'd love to see what this is like on DC, uh, C, sorry. Um, because you can never really truly get this level of crawl from an analog locomotive. Certainly on DCC you can, but um yeah this is absolutely breathtaking i mean look how slow and smooth that is it's not juddering it's not stopping that is i i'm actually speechless um at how good this locomotive is i, I truly am like i mean th this is incredible very smooth, um, doesn't make a lot of noise either, um, which is interesting. So it's it's quite a quiet loco, but yeah, that is, I actually, I don't have the words to describe it. <laughs> um, the, the, I just, it's, it's better than I thought it was going to be. Um, there's not too many videos on YouTube about these locos, so I wasn't sure what I was getting myself in for, and the ones that are out there seem to be running them all on DCC Digital. So um, having a true analog reflection of this is uh, certainly uh, an eye-opener. But anyway, I'm gonna send it uh, running around the track um, to run him. Uh, that'll go in both directions, roughly about half an hour. Um, might do an hour, but yeah, yeah, half an hour should be perfectly okay um, in either direction just to get uh, a bit of running in and uh, get it used to being uh, driven round. Okay so here is the loco um, that's been running half an hour both directions uh, and we're ready to do a bit more testing now just to see I mean not that I don't think you can improve the crawl but just to see uh, how 
it actually uh, looks once it's been run in. Um, see if it's got any smoother, if I can go a bit slower. But uh, to be honest with you, I, I, I think it's just going to perform as perfectly as it did anyway. So yeah, we'll, we'll give it uh, give it a bit of juice and we'll see how that crawl is. And it's, it's, it's actually got better. It's a lot more smooth. It's not, it's not, um, I'm not, it was juddering before, but it's certainly, you can see the wheels just turning ever so slightly. That is an incredible, incredible crawl. Just giving it a little bit more power. But um, certainly uh, on analog, uh, it'll crawl, but the lights won't work. Um, that, that is one thing to note. Whereas obviously on DCC, um, you'll certainly have that function where the lights will always be on. So that that's that's get what you get basically for using analog. Um, you don't have that reliability with the lighting functions because you rely on basically how much power you're putting into the loco. That's why they are flickering a bit. So it's it's nothing to do with the loco itself. The lights work perfectly fine. It's just the fact that it's the current running through the track. So it's enough to get the motor running, just not enough to keep the steady constant LEDs. Just just one thing to note, but um, I don't think that's a the drawback at all um, on the locomotive. It's, it's just the downside of using analog. Um, but again, analog is cheaper. So here is the coupling up close. So you just have to basically push them in and as you can see, very narrow gap between the coaches, so it makes it look a lot more realistic. But yeah, quite a nice coupling. So here it is, all coupled up to all the coaches and the dummy car, and we'll send it on its way for its maiden voyage. Um, quite looking forward to seeing this uh, running uh, as a whole train because it's uh, it's just a, a stunning locomotive, um, and away we go. We'll get some uh, get some good shots of it uh, running around the track, with a bit of rambling from myself. So again, as I said, um, I mean the, the locomotive is stunning, and I'm very very happy uh, to have purchased it. Um, although I am hiding the price tag from any family members who dare ask how much I paid for it, because don't think they'd be too happy. But um, hey ho, that is the modeler's life. But um, but yeah, a, th this locomotive is really great, really smooth. Um, it uh, runs really well. I've had no derailments. Um, runs over points absolutely fine as well. So yeah, it's it's fantastic. And you know, as I say, it's got that sort of special part to me is that um, you know it's a locomotive you can ride on in. The real world today still, um, they they run quite frequently from London to Edinburgh, so yeah, it's it's one of those nice ones that you can actually still, uh, you know, get on the locomotive and actually see it for yourself in person, and obviously I've I've actually been on one of these. They're very comfortable. Um, it's you know, I think it took about three ish hours. Um, in total train journeys to get to Edinburgh, um, took two Azumas, one from Retford to York and one from York to Edinburgh, um, which I can actually say if you've ever done um, the trip to Edinburgh, it is a stunning train journey and it does go uh, all the way past the sea, uh, stunning scenery, yeah, it's it's just, just incredible. Um, and there we are. Um, so main functions we've got to try now is we're going to have a look at the lights in the darkness. So giving it a bit of juice now. Oh, there we can see. So we have the power loco. You have to excuse the shaky cam. Um, but uh, but yeah, there's the uh, coaches. This is the main disappointment I'd probably say in full darkness is there is a little bit of light bleed through the body of the locomotives and the coaches. Um, you can definitely see the LEDs uh, through it and it is a little bit of a drawback 
um, you know, for something so expensive, you kind of want it to be perfect. But at the same time, you can't see that when it's running in the daytime or low lit. So, yeah, I, d I don't think it, it's it's not too bad. I'd, I'd say the white um, is more of an issue in the cab because um, it's basically just a glowing front, as you can see there, and the door's just illuminated. Then it is in the coaches with that sort of yellow. Um, that's not as noticeable as it is in the uh, cab interior. But um, but yeah, still, it, it is a little bit of a negative trait for the um, for the LEDs. You know, it, it would have been great if uh, they'd actually um, painted on the inside a little bit more, a little bit darker, just so that that bleed doesn't come through. Although the one noticeable thing that I have noticed through running it in the darkness is, um, especially with the coaches, it's quite a good way of telling where your track needs cleaning. <laughs> As you can see there, um, it, uh, it all goes dim at uh, two points on my track, one on the back and one there. Look, not quite as bad here, but yeah, um, it's quite a good uh, test to see where it needs cleaning. But anyway, time for the ratings. So this is for the LNER Azuma Class 800 Celebrating Scotland 5 car train pack. So let's start off first with the performance. I, you know, I'm not being biased to Hornby or, um, you know, lenient with uh, grading because, as you know, I, I don't do that. Um, if something's bad, I will put it down as bad. You know, I have to be strict, but I can't fault the performance. Um, you know, you've seen it uh, straight from the box. Uh, not running and that crawl was amazing it's run smooth the lights are great uh, you know other than my dirty track there's no light flicker or anything like that and certainly on DCC it will be a lot better but on, even on that analog it's great and uh, so yeah it's getting five stars detail uh, again five stars I think just for the inclusion of being able to have all those different light functions available for analog um i think is just great you know yeah you know they can't turn on individually and things like that but the they're always on when you're running the train which i think is just one of those things that you know we need more of in in the model railway world um especially with a lot of the diesel locomotives i think they need more led functions to sort of make them uh seem a little bit more worth compared to like say some of the steam locos which steam is just sort of like you know uh, one of those things you can't really do much more with it other than like a flickering firebox but uh yeah with the diesels you know a lot of them have led well lights um on them so i think definitely for an analog function it's great to have all that light and again there's lots of you know not that many separately fitted parts but we had the windscreen wipers the pantographs and the rubber corridor um as well so that's great, and the coaches have LEDs in them as well. So, uh, yeah, it's five stars for that. Um, livery wise, uh, got to give it five stars again. It's brilliantly applied, um, looks amazing. Um, it's bright, it's bold, and yeah, just definitely gives um, a real world counterpart. Um, this is basically a probably a perfect replica. Uh, so yeah, so it's getting five star for the livery. Quality wise, it's getting 4.9, and that is only down to the fact that uh, there is the LED bleed, um, the light bleed through the bodywork. I think if that was sorted out, this would be a perfect locomotive. Um, it's just that that lets it down. Um, so that's why I'm giving it 4.9. Um, just, just a little point off it, just for that fact. As I say, most of us are going to be running them with the lights on so um you know you're not going to see that anyway so it doesn't necessarily matter too much but it's just the fact that it is there if you think oh yeah i'm gonna have a nighttime running session with a load of locos that have lighting functions and yeah you just got that downside that you have got that led bleed so that is why it's getting marked down value wise um i've given it 4.5 out of 5 um main reason being 
I think the value that I've paid for it is 100% five stars. But I've also got to take into account is this is probably going to be for a limited time only. So I'd definitely say go and grab one whilst Kinarm uh, Model Center has them in uh, stock. Um, but uh, definitely, um, you know, you have to take into account the full RRP, which is uh, £430 ish so you know taking that into account i've got a very good saving on it but not everybody will and i definitely think the full rrp isn't far off you know realistically what you pay i think 150 ish for the power car 50 ish for the coaches and you know call it 90 for the dummy car it comes to about 300 and 90 ish pounds, I believe. Um, just when I, well, from what I remember when I added it up on the calculator. Um, but yeah, it, it's not far off um, what I think realistically the RRP is. So yeah, you, you are getting a very good value for money with the pack, and definitely for how it's performed and all it's included, it's it's very, very, very good. Um, it's, it's fantastic, and I can't. I can't really find many faults with the Loco. As much as I'm trying to, I feel like I'm being heavily, um, you know, rose-tinted spectacles with this locomotive, but uh, I'm really not. It's it's just, it's it's fantastic. It's, it's a perfect Loco. And I'd definitely say, if you're in the market to get one, or if you always wanted one, pick one up. Um, definitely, especially if you're getting it at that... Uh, heavily discounted price it's too good to miss uh, so that gives us an overall rating of 4.88 out of 5 which is by far the highest rated model that I've reviewed so far um, it's you know I know it's not much compared to like say the Hornby HSTs um, you know this is a railroad um, railroad railways model compared to the railroad uh, models that definitely the uh, HSTs belong to but it, you are getting the full package with this and I definitely say go and pick one up if you want one um, I'm madly in love with it and will be running it as much as possible uh, it's you know I can't wait actually now to get a full layout built so I can actually show it off with scenery um, but yeah that is all from me today guys if you've enjoyed the video hit comments down below i'd love to know your thoughts on this loco don't forget to hit a like and a subscribe as well